Guys, this is Asgard10 doing a tutorial video on how to get rid of controller lag on the PS4 if you're planning on playing on playing on your off of your um, personal computer or laptop or whatever um, computing device you have. Um, keep in mind though, this tutorial is mainly going to help out people with slow internet speeds. Like um, they can end up connecting their PS4 to the remote play on their PC, but beyond that, like um, the controller lag that takes like you start seeing um, movement commands five seconds after you've actually done it. Well, not five minutes, but like more like five seconds or something like that. Um, anyways, um, in order to help you, uh, I decided to do this tutorial video. Um, um, I placed down two links below, if anything, that should help you out if you don't want to try watching the video. Um, if I haven't, um, I'll bring them up right now on my uh, Mozilla Fox. Uh, the first one was a Reddit page, um, like right here, this person right here, I don't know who that is, I could, uh, and I hope this, uh, this helped out this person, but, um, as you can see, uh, the guy had a bad PC, uh, PS4, or, um, slow internet, or whatever, and he wanted to connect his, his, uh, uh, laptop as an internet, Ethernet hub, sort of. Um, I kind of went off of this, and then when I went down, on top of here, trying. I was actually trying to find a way to get rid of compute, uh, uh, controller lag on top of the uh, PS4 when I connected to my PC, but uh, uh, nothing I found was pretty good. To be honest, this is about the closest thing I actually got it. This method I'm about to show you is about the closest thing I actually found out practically work. So um, I went down. I seen all that. It wasn't until I reached the last um, uh, forum reply on top of here. Like this guy, Dark Hero 651. Thank you. If you are listening to this video, thank you very much for putting uh, for placing this. This helped out a lot. Um, he ended up using an Xbox method in order to actually get his PS4 to connect to his computer. So I decided to check out the link. Oh, actually, sorry, I already have it up here. And then I scrolled down. Like most of it was kind of rubbish, mostly until I noticed the network bridge connection. And then, like uh, the guy mentioned up here, he used the network bridge connection as well. So, what I did is, um, I followed the instructions that was placed on here. So, um, I started out with that. So, I'm doing NCPA. I'm copying it because I have a horrible memory. I'm sorry. Copying it. NCPA.CPL. That brings up a control panel item. Click on it. And it brings up your network connection page from your uh, network and internet section. Now, in order to properly get this right, the, your connection to your PS4 to your PC, you need to make sure you have an Ethernet cord. Like, I've already got one installed on my one, but uh, for your reference, make sure you have a spare one. It doesn't have to be, like, the greatest thing in the world. Just just a regular Ethernet cord, I think, will do it. Now, in order to set up the bridge connection, click on Wi-Fi, hold Control, and then click on the Ethernet uh, option here. Next, you press right click, bridge connection, and then it's working on it. And then right there, see how it is? It's identifying it, it's reading it, it's bridging it. Now, I'm going to switch over to my PS4 in order to help you out from that end. Uh, one second. I think it was... uh, okay, um, I tried seeing if I could do recording on my PS4, it didn't work, so I'm going to have to use screenshots in order to um, actually walk you through it. So, what you'll do is go to your settings, uh, turn on your PS4, um, go to your settings section, click next. You want to go to your networks on top of your settings, go to set up internet connection, and then between the two that you have to choose, you're going to pick the LAN cable this time, not the Wi-Fi one. So afterwards, you can do this easy connection because it's going to be a simple setup, if anything. Um, I would have shown you how it actually did it, but um, the the, uh, the screenshot bit didn't work on top of it. But um, pretty much, that's what happened. Look, the, the connection test completed. Uh, it read the IP address. It got internet on that thing. My sign-in worked on. And then that's the download speeds. Like like I said, um, I have in it, I have satellite internet. Sometimes it goes pretty well. Sometimes it doesn't. So it's kind of a floppy thing. Um, oh crap! Oh shoot! I, I left that on, didn't I?
Okay, please everyone ignore that on top of the And then right there. Look at that. It's like So if anything, I'm gonna move right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Look, there's hardly any lag from what I've seen. Up. Oh, that's a cool airship kind of. I, I personally I wish I could build an SE, but I have no idea how long that would actually take me. Uh, if you don't know what SE is, that's space engineers. If you if you have a decent computer setup, uh, I'd recommend getting it. It's actually a pretty awesome game. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, don't turn off the PS4 while I'm playing the game. So yeah, right there, look. I'm doing load. Sorry, my PS4 does take a while. <laughs> a little bit. And look, I'm, that's all the stuff I've gotten. I'm clicking X. Right there, I'm moving around. Like, it's all good right there. There's nothing really slowing my controller down anymore. Now keep in mind this may take a few um, trial error or not. I'm gonna X this out so that way the audio stops. Now keep in mind, this, like I said, this will take some trial and error to actually pull off, but once you actually do it, I can guarantee you, even with slow internet connection speeds, as long as that internet holds up between your PC, for your PC, um, then your PS4's controller is definitely gonna it's not going to have any lag at all, I promise you. If by some chance you do have some kind of um, problem with it, um, put the, down a message down below. Um, I'll see what you might have done wrong on your end, maybe. If if anything, I'm, I'm not a computer expert, I'm just doing what I've, I've actually done online uh, myself by trial and error too. So, but um, if anything, I'll try my best to help you guys out. If this helped you guys out, then A, thank you. Thanks for watching this, and I'm glad it helped you out. If it didn't help you out, um, I am sorry it didn't help you out. And hopefully, if you do manage to find something that does work, then um, hopefully that works out for you. If anything, I'm Asgard10. Uh, you guys have a good day, and thank you very much for watching this tutorial video. Goodbye.